Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a little video about uh, just just some various different things I want to talk about in general. And um, a, a lot of them have to do with uh, just how I perceive people reacting in general, that kind of the, the car culture and whatnot um, right now. Um, I just... It seems to me like a lot of people are um, overreacting and um, just kind of freaking out about uh, things that happen. And uh, I don't know if it's because they don't understand the social media, how it works and how it blows everything out of proportion. You know, years ago, uh, we didn't, we didn't have that around, so you didn't have the interactivity and the ability for information to pass so quickly. Um, so, you know, case in point, um, things to do like with the, the GR Corolla in general, um, you know, reading all kinds of comments about people saying how, wow, I really like the car, but now I read people saying that, you know, uh, car, they're catching on fire and clutches are going out and all kinds of people are having problems with this and that. And you have to put things in perspective. And I just, I don't know what it is, but I don't get the feeling that people know how to do that and to look at things objectively. Um, so let's, let's take these things one at a time. So we have had two instances of GR Corollas having uh, a fire and burning. Um, okay, so we've had the GR Corolla on sale now for two years. Approximately 6,500 cars were made each year. So right now I'm gonna guess that we're got probably 11,000 roughly that have been made and we've had two car fires. And I got news for you, car, news flash here. Car fires happen. They happen to every single model, every single manufacturer. Car fires happen. But when you're involved with a car and you're on forums and you're on uh, Facebook and Instagram and all this, you're going to see the same story repeated hundreds of times. And you're going to think it's happening a lot more often than it is and that it's a lot worse than it is. We had two cases of this happen. And I got news for you guys. That's what insurance is for. Things like this happen and it happens all the time. And there's a lot more manufacturers and a lot more models that are having issues with fires than the, the GR Corolla is. So, um, you gotta keep things in perspective. GR Corollas are not catching fire all over the place the your car's not going to implode if you go over 85 miles an hour they put the statement in there simply to cover their own liability that statement about speed in the tires is in every manual it's it's a liability uh disclaimer basically so um god pump the brakes <laughs> pump the brakes guys everybody it just Gosh, it's gotten to a point now it just gets under my skin. I mean, people are just acting like idiots because they don't know and they're just foaming at the mouth about stuff like this. So, um, man, slow down, guys, slow down. So, um, another, another issue, um, clutches. I can guarantee you there's not as many people having a problem with a clutch as everybody thinks there is because they see the same people having um, or posting, I should say, the same people posting on different things, different um, Facebook pages and Instagram and forums and stuff. So you see the same information from multiple places and you think it's happening a lot more than it is. So, and it's not. And a lot of this is abuse, self-abuse for what they're doing. They're doing, um, you know, digs and they're dropping the clutch at 5,000 RPM. 
So you have to realize that the GR Corolla is an all wheel drive car. It has amazing traction. So when you drop the clutch and all four tires grip and they don't spin, something's got to spin and give. And what's happening is it's the clutch. The clutch is the one that's kind of giving up first because the car has so much traction. So you can do a couple things to prevent this. You could put on some real crappy tires that don't have very much uh, traction so that they give up. You could do it and make sure you do it in a more uh, slippery condition so that the tires have a lot less traction. Um, so in sand and gravel and dirt and snow and on wet conditions, things like that. If you do that, then the tires will spin and will give up. So, and the clutch won't take the abuse from that. So you have to understand what is happening when you're driving the car. Um, and if you're doing it on pavement all the time, yeah, the clutch is going to give out. That will be what will happen. So either make the decision to not drive like that. Don't drive like an idiot on the pavement. This is not a drag car. So, um, you know, I don't know what, what people are trying to prove, but it's not a drag car. Enjoy the car with how it's intended to do. But if you're going to do that, either upgrade the clutch so it can handle that or do those kind of situations and have fun where the tires can spin and break loose and have a good time that way. So, um, I don't think that there's anywhere near as many clutch issues as some people are making it out to be because there are plenty of us that have, uh, you know, tens of thousands of miles on their cars and they haven't had any problems. And if it was an actual, uh, defect or something like that, then it would be happening to pretty much everybody. So, and again, if you come back to the number of cars that have been made and sold being well over 10,000 now, um, and you have a small number, it's, it's significant. It's statistically insignificant for the number of people that have had these issues and that's why when you're wondering if why Toyota hasn't done anything and that's why because there's just not that many of them having these issues. So you're seeing everybody almost <laughs> on the Facebook pages and the forums that if they've had a problem, you've seen them on there. And the people that have a problem are the loudest. They make the most noise. So you, you gotta, again, perspective guys, think, think. You gotta, don't just take all this information and think that it's a hundred percent, you know, gospel. Process it. Use your brain. What is going on here? You don't know how people are treating their cars either. You don't know how they take care of it. They can say what they're, what they're doing. They're not doing this. They're not doing that, but we don't know that for sure. So, I mean, come on, let's, Let's take a step back, take a deep breath. And so the, the cars, the cars are fine. I don't, I don't see that there's any inherent issue with it. Uh, any manual car though, at some point it's going to need a clutch. I understand that. So it's going to depend on how you abuse it and how you take care of it. Um, but realize what the GR Corolla can do. And if you're, if you're trying to do something, but the car isn't letting you do it because the traction is so good, you're going to abuse your clutch. So if you're doing a lot of, uh, drag races and stuff like that, what do you think is going to happen guys? Come on. So, uh, that is, uh, that is a little food for thought. <laughs>